Gravelous pipe is an option to media fill trenches. In this system, an 8 to 10 inch corrugated polyethylene pipe is wrapped with a geotextile fabric and buried in a well aerated soil. The fabric acts as a wick, evenly distributing wastewater around the circumference of the pipe. It also works to prevent backfill from entering the discharge holes of the pipe. The chief advantage of this type of system is that the pipe is flexible. It may be placed in curved trenches fitting a specific elevation on a sloping site. However, it requires a well aerated soil to prevent buildup of the biological mat on the geotextile fabric wrap and cannot be installed in clay soils. Apo transpiration bed relies on the natural properties of soil to lose water both by evaporation and transpiration from plants growing on top of the bed. An evapotranspiration bed is a bed of sand with trenches in the bottom for storing the water until it's evaporated or transpired by the plants. Evapotranspiration beds are used in areas where soil will not properly treat wastewater before it reaches groundwater sources or where soil will not allow water to move through it. These systems are designed based on rainfall and expected evapotranspiration rates. These beds can be either lined or unlined, depending on the permeability of the surrounding soil. Gravelly sands and karst soils require a liner. This can be made of natural clays, synthetic lining, or concrete. Unlined beds are used for impermeable soils like clay. Plant cover is essential for the proper function of these systems. Grasses and other plants must be well maintained for them to work properly. A low pressure dosing system requires a pump tank and a network of small diameter pipes placed in trenches. The pump tank stores the wastewater and the pump doses it into the drain field so that the trenches do not become saturated. The pressurized system provides a relatively even distribution of the wastewater across the drain field. The trenches accepting the wastewater can be media filled or constructed with leaching chambers. These trenches serve the purpose of storing the water until it can be absorbed by the soil. This system is generally used to move affluent from a treatment site that sits at a lower elevation than the application site and in soils with high clay contents. It is also used in shallow soils where seasonal high groundwater and bedrock occur between three to four feet below the soil surface. The system consists of a pump tank and mound land application system the mound has several layers including permeable fill material, a wastewater distribution system, a sandy loam cap, and topsoil. The mound system is ideal for areas with minimal soil between the surface and either groundwater or bedrock. A drain field is created above the natural soil surface to allow final treatment of wastewater. In essence, this is a traditional low pressure dosing system built above ground level. The subsurface drip dispersal system provides uniform application of wastewater across the application field. The system consists of a pump tank, filtration system, subsurface drip tubing, and controller. The pump tank stores the wastewater until the controller turns the pump on to dose water into the soil. The filtration system removes the large solids from the wastewater and flushes the solids back to the pretreatment device. The drip tubing is placed directly into the soil without the use of media filled trenches. The system relies on drip tubing with emitters to reduce the water pressure before it enters the soil. Since the emitters in the line have the same emission rate, wastewater is uniformly applied to the dispersal field. The drip field is constructed to spread water across the landscape. Tubing is placed approximately two feet apart in the landscape so the emitters are on a grid pattern. The drip lines are buried relatively shallow so the soil can provide treatment and landscape plants can use the nutrients and water. The tubing can be placed within the existing landscape. The dispersal system utilizes a pump tank, pump and spray heads to distribute wastewater on the surface of the ground. The pump tank stores the water until it is time to dose the water to the spray area. The system can either be an on-demand system, which sprays the water whenever the tank is full, or night dosing system, which holds the water until night, and then the water is dispersed. Most residents prefer a night dosing system, when the affluent will be sprayed in the landscape.